face we will understand and we see it clearly. The Bible tells us that eyes have not seen nor ears heard neither has it entered into the hearts of men that which God has gone to prepare for his children. Indeed the question how beautiful heaven must be. Our minds cannot grapple with the splendor the grandeur of heaven. Finite mind cannot grasp the beauty of heaven. Heaven is a real place and it will be for real people because Jesus died and heaven is cheap enough. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can I hear you say heaven? Heaven, my dear sister, and if you are trying to go there, you don't have to do anything but to ask Jesus to help you to get there. Do you want to go to heaven today? Yes, sir. Heaven is cheap enough. I'm told that heaven is a place where there will be no dreadful, creeping old age. No sickness will be there. No death, hence, no undertaker. Lord have mercy. Heaven is a place for the holy, the righteous. Heaven, a place of eternal bliss. How beautiful heaven must be. Italia, how must I get there? Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and heaven will be yours. Believe, believe in your heart on the Lord Jesus Christ and heaven will be yours. Love your neighbor as yourself and heaven will be yours. Obey God and keep his commandments and heaven will be yours because those who make it to heaven are those who not only Jesus Christ, but those who obey Jesus Christ, keep his commandment and live. I want to pray for you today, my dear sister, that you will make it into God's celestial abode, heaven. It is real, and it is for real people. Will you bow your heads with me? Great God and Heavenly Father, we thank you for this seeker today who ask the appropriate question and you have given the answer from your word. I pray now that you will embrace her in your loving arms of mercy and grant her eternal life according to your promises. Thank you for hearing our prayers and bless the rest of us today we pray with thanksgiving in Jesus name. Amen. Oh, 
place is empty. No more traffic in the streets. All of the builders' stools are silent. No.
prophesies of thee, saying, Behold, the Lord cometh with ten thousand of his saints to ex execute judgment upon all, to convince all that are ungodly among them of all their ungodly deeds, which they have ungodly committed. In the Old Testament, Job, the ancient man of patience, believed in the coming of Christ at the last day. His words were written over 3,000 years ago and reads, For I know that my Redeemer liveth, and he shall stand at the latter day upon this earth. And although after my skin worms destroy this body, yet in my flesh shall I see God. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, saying the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we, which are alive and remain, shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord.
let us never forget this important fact. This same Jesus who was here is the same Jesus who will come again. This same Savior who walked by the blue Galilee will come in glory. This same Master who preached a sermon on the mount, who spoke his wonderful parables, this same Jesus who healed the sick and raised the dead, this same Jesus will return in majestic splendor with 10,000 times 10,000 of his holy angels. He will come to receive and reward his faithful children. Yes, those who have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Yes, Jesus shall turn, return in all eyes. Yes, all eyes shall see him. We shall see him. Glory, glory, hallelujah.
Jesus walked among the redeemed, he reaches out and touches them joyfully. The disciples have a happy reunion. Peter, James, and John are together again. Glory, glory, glory. Oh, what a sight. Tears of joy flows down each cheek while shouts of hallelujah rise to the blessed Savior. The nail prints hands are still very clear. Oh, the nail prints. These are they who have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Then the redeeming the first and two type of singing that is strange to the ears of angels. It's a song that tells their redemption story, the words echoing so sweetly that even the angels fold their wings and humble adoration. Angels are beckoning the saints. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The saints are moving forward. And angels are bearing something like this. Oh. Oh. They are robes and crowns. They are robes of righteousness and crowns of glory. Jesus is placing robes of righteousness and crowns of glory upon the redeemed of all ages. Oh, what a sight. As he places crown of victory on each head, he repeats joyful words of nomination and congratulations. Kept the truth shall enter in. There they behold the paradise of God, the home of Adam and his innocence. Then that voice, richer than any music that ever fell on mortal ear, is heard saying, Your conflict is ended. Come ye, blessed of my Father, and bear the kingdom prepared for you from the foundations of the world. Now is fulfilled the Savior's prayer for his disciples. I will that they also whom thou hast given me be with me where I am. Faultless before the presence of their glory with exceeding joy. Christ presents to the Father the purchase of his blood. Declaring, here am I and the children whom thou hast given me. All oh, the days of pain and weeping are forever ended. The King of glory has wiped the tears from all faces. Every cause of grief has been removed. Upon the crystal sea before the throne, that sea of glass as it would mingle with fire, so repentant is it with the glory of God, a gathered the company that have gotten the victory over the beast and over his image and over his mark and over a number of his name. With the Lamb upon Mount Zion and in the hearts of God, they stand the hundred and forty four thousand that redeem it from among men and there is heard as the sound of many voices and as the sound of a great thunder. Are forever ended. The King of 
glory has wept the tears from all faces, every cause of grief have been removed. Well done, my good and faithful servant. Enter into the joy of your Lord. You have been faithful over them. I will make you ruler over much. It is the Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. You have been faithful unto death. Now I give you eternal
good and faithful servant of the words each of you should want to hear from the lips of our living Savior. But sad to say, some will hear the words, depart from me, I never knew. Those sad words need not be uttered in your hearing because you would have already chosen to do the will of God now and always. Heaven is cheap enough because Jesus has already purchased your place there at an infinite cost. His own precious life blood.
for that. Yes. We're going to have the re recessional, well, recessional. The ushers will come forward to usher you out. Remember, because we are on the road, all roads lead to camp meeting the second weekend in June. We want you to help us with hotel and uh, transportation. So give us a liberal offering as the script bids you and as you are able to. As you leave the door, you can greet the cast members as you go out. God bless you and keep us in your prayers. Amen. Praise the Lord. Ushers will usher you out and you can, the deacons are waiting.